well, like, oh, actually, I know quite a few people that Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, then my name is Chloe, and today we are doing a highly requested video. So basically, over on Instagram, I have like 35,000 followers. Oh my god! Don't ask me why, I don't know, you lot don't know, but you seem to like the content I create over there. And I get questions all the time on how to do this, how to do that, what should I be charging? So I thought I would head over, put a little question box up, and answer as honestly as I can all your questions that you have about being an Instagrammer. So basically, let's start from the beginning. I started my account in May 2018, I think. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So I grew so steadily, like literally by the May next year, I only had 2000 followers and then it hit like September time and my followers just went whoo. And then from then on, it's literally just been steady. So yeah, I have so many questions to answer. So I think I'm going to split this into two parts so it's not too boring for you. So yeah, let's just get on with it. First question, oh my God, we're going in at the deep end with this one. Honestly, how does it affect you? How are you doing honestly? We're all human here. Well, it takes a toll, I can say that. It is very, very hard to put yourself out on the internet and people think that they magically know you and then they have a right to comment on everything that you do. So that is very strange, but we've got such a nice community over there. I think it is really lovely that you guys support me. Anything that I do, I literally get 110% support from all of you, which is absolutely amazing. But it can be hard times when you get like hate and stuff, but you always look past it and for every one nasty person there is always 1,000 nice people. So I've really got to keep that in mind. Um, how long do you think you can continue to do this slash make money with it? I think as long as Instagram exists there will always be an opportunity to make money with it, if you know what I mean. I think brands are just wising up to the fact that influencer marketing is very, very important. Like for example, why would you waste X amount on a TV advert which might hit your target market when you can work with an influencer that has already gain such a loyal following with your exact target customer and get so many more sales like how much editing is too much editing on selfies literally the only editing I do is I put a filter on it I know quite a few people that edit their photos like enhance their skin or like make their teeth whiter or like reshape their body and stuff I'm not about that if you feel comfortable doing that it's quite sad but if it makes you feel more comfortable it's quite sad because you're not portraying the real you but some people are like that do lots of Instagrammers use engagement groups to get likes or comments um not that I know of I know there's a couple of people that try and get me to be part of their engagement groups but I've never done that because authentic likes only like you're gonna get so much further with authentic likes and authentic comments than if you start an engagement group and just get really random fake comments all the time have you been nominated for any influencer awards or in any magazines yes actually surprisingly so this year I was actually nominated for the cosmopolitan influencer award best newcomer unfortunately I did win but being nominated is actually pretty pretty cool like it literally just blows my mind saying that out loud even that I was just nominated but I don't think I've been in any magazines unless I haven't seen it has anybody famous or verified ever followed or commented on one of your photos well this is actually pretty interesting so basically if you watch the young offenders one of the girls that is in it actually posted a photo wearing this dress from new look that i got and she actually tagged me in it and i think she's actually deleted her account but she had 17.3k and i was just like i can't believe someone on tv's actually acknowledged me like it was actually mental <laughs> next one how do i deal with haters honestly not very well like i let it get to me more than i know it should but you usually just block report and delete the comments because that is just life nothing that i'm putting on the internet is giving you the rights to give me hate but yeah it does happen it is so sad that it comes with the job because what am I doing that gives you the right to argue with me online and send me hate? I don't know, it's just very weird that you feel sad enough as a person to send me hate. Do you find it awkward to tell people you do Instagram and what have been their reactions? Um, I don't really find it awkward, but people don't really understand that it can be a job. I wouldn't class it as my job right now, but people just don't understand the concept of being like an influencer or in social media. When I've been talking to boys on like Tinder and whatever, they're like, oh my God, so you're famous. You've got like a million followers. I'm like, no, but I have 35K, which is also pretty amazing. What do you think of the term influencer? A cook, 
cooks food. A teacher teaches stuff. An influencer influences people to buy stuff, so it makes sense to be fair. Have you ever had a problem or fallen out with another influencer's page? Not really, like obviously people, oh, actually, actually yes. <laughs> I don't really want to go into it, but basically with everything going on, I feel like you should be using your voice to speak up on what you believe in. And, and if you don't say anything, silence is compliance in my opinion, but that just ended in a swift block. So whatever. <laughs> Do you see yourself owning a clothing or merch line one day? I would absolutely love to have my own clothing line, but I don't know how realistic it is. But that is definitely one of my very, 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 very far in the future plans. What is the best and worst brand you've worked with? Not gonna mention any names, just for like reasons I don't wanna get, whatever. But there is one brand that I know a lot of people work with and they are just absolutely horrible on email. They expect you to do so many things for free. But yeah, I can't pay bills with clothing or accessories. So I think brands really need to look at themselves and think, why are they asking all these creators to create content for free when it is a job? Do you buy clothes and shoot, then send them back? No, I don't personally. I think it's immoral in my opinion but that's just my opinion. I know people that do it. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it, to be fair. Like, when I do try-ons, I'm not gonna keep everything in the try-on, am I? So, I don't really know. Like, is shooting different than doing a haul and sending stuff back? Do Instagrammers get paid to lie about the quality of a product, i.e. clothing slash makeup? This is really interesting because with my friends, I don't think any of us ever have lied, but I know there are specific brands that ask you to say X, Y, Z, and you can or can't agree on it. So yeah, that gets very tricky. Do you have a normal slash personal Instagram for your friends? Yes, I do. If you follow me over there, I'm not gonna accept you. I'm sorry, but that's just for my friends and family. When do you think you'll have enough followers to do this full time? Is that a financial viability? Not anytime soon, unfortunately. Like the money is just so inconsistent. I would love to say I earn 1200 pound a month, which is just like a normal living wage, but I don't. It's so inconsistent. Like one month I could earn 60 pounds and then another month I could earn like over a thousand so it's really hard to know if I could take that jump because obviously if I would make this into my full-time job I would have more time creating content more time to pitch so it's a bit like eh, do I take the leap or is it not viable what's the most you've been paid for a brand deal well, 1,500 I think and then I also got paid I also got PR products with clothes like different outfits every week do you feel like you can pay yourself to other influencers yeah definitely I feel like the online space is just like a weird place to be like obviously you digest loads and loads of people's content every day so you're always going to see people doing better than you people that are doing more than you so it is a very very slippery slope but I tend not to do it because my content is my content I built my followers my followers like what I do so they're not following me because I'm copying anyone else's content beef with any brands no not really Really, just other ones I mentioned like they just lack email etiquette which is really annoying when you spend so much time trying to eloquently write an email and they're just like thanks any brands that you've turned away yep a lot because I feel like they don't fit with my feed or I don't like the product that they're gonna send me or they don't pay me it's a lot of reasons why I say no do you edit all your photos like I said earlier the only thing I do to edit my photos is add a preset how many hours do you work if I worked out how many hours I work I would probably start to cry because Instagram is literally 24 7 I get messages at all hours of the day I will roll over in bed and at 2 a.m. my phone will go ping and I see there's messages from you guys and it is very 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 hard to switch off also I enjoy like scrolling through Instagram see what my friends are doing so it's hard to find the balance of having it as a job and also enjoying it as a platform on itself would you still carry on your Instagram page if no brands were to sponsor you yes absolutely Absolutely. because I've created my Instagram to make you guys feel like you're not alone like there are girls like you and I feel like I've done a pretty good job in that because I know there's a lot of girls that follow me for inspiration on loads of different things other than fashion and sponsorship how did you get started and build up so many followers literally just start posting I can't tell you how many messages I get from girls that are like oh I don't know how to start literally just start there is nothing holding you back what are you going to lose if you start posting and you never post again absolutely nothing so go for it there's so many so many so many good things that could come out of it and yeah just just bloody go for it do you ever work with brands you don't like but need the money 
no <laughs> i know some people that have won't name any names but lots of brands don't even pay you so the fact that you get to turn down a paid job is quite a big deal how much do you actually care about likes Mm, to be fair, likes are actually pretty important because that's what the brands look at with engagement and whatever. So let's just start. So if you have 10,000 followers and you get 1,000 likes per post, your engagement rate is about 10%. And brands look at that to see that 10% of your followers are actually active and following your content. So obviously the more likes I get, the better it looks, but it's not the end of the world when a post doesn't do bad. I'm not gonna delete it because I like my feed how it is. So I'm gonna finish on this question and then I'm gonna film a part two because I have so many more questions to answer all about money and stuff like that. So do any other influencers ever send hate? Well, I know there are a few girls that I follow that head over to Twitter to voice their opinions on specific things and they think that people can't see Twitter and they just think that they're invincible over on Twitter but when they come to Instagram they're liking and commenting on your photos so yes, I would be very mindful of what you post on any social media because lots of people follow you on multiple social medias so whatever you say will get back to you oh i've been talking for half an hour this is going to be a long video but thank you if you've stuck around my next video will be part two and i'm going to talk all about the money side and how much you should be charging for brands and whatever so i hope you stick around for that one if you did like this video give me a thumbs up and i would appreciate if you could subscribe because i know a lot of you watching aren't actually subscribed i do see you so i will see you in the next one bye <laughs> Postman just saw me.